evening we're going to tie a size 16 tan X caddis. We're going to use a little brown Zelon for the shuck. Some hair's ear dubbing, hair's ear plus tan. And some elk hair. That's it. It's an easy pattern to tie, it's relatively quick. We'll dress the hook here with uh, rusty brown Danville thread, six hot. And we'll take some of this brown Zelon, tie it in. I tie mine a little bit long just so I can use that. Zelon is part of the base of the fly, give it some bulk. You don't have to use as much dubbing. Trim that tail. Oh, quarter of an inch. Maybe a little, in between quarter and a half inch. You can always trim it shorter. The X caddis is a variation of a really old fly from Dillon uh, called the Elk Air caddis, Altross fly. The X caddis was come up here in West Yellowstone, oh, back in the 80s, I think, maybe late 80s, early 90s. It's emerging caddis pattern works extremely well on all rivers throughout the state. I believe John Jurisek came up with this fly. He still lives here, in West Yellowstone. A little more dubbing. I tie this fly kind of bulky, kind of hairy, make it look like it's crawling on the surface. I trim the wing before I tie the fly. I find that it's easier. If you just pinch it and trim it, you'll get used to the length. That's about it right there as it just extends barely past the bend of the hook and onto the trailing shuck. Kind of flare that out a little bit. Make a few wraps in front. cement in there. Can whip finish that a few times. Three or four, I do twice. There you have it. Size 16, tan, X caddis. Great fly for emerging caddis on the Madison River, in the Missouri, in the Yellowstone, and pretty much wherever caddis hatch.